Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games and day 21 of the 30 day challenge. I can't believe it's been three weeks since this started. It's gone so fast. And although it's been a lot of hours of painting and getting this ready, I've really enjoyed the whole process so far. I'm really excited to be getting close to the end. But today was great. I managed to get the chariot finished and the dreadnought painted. So let's head over to the table and have a look at the progress. So really close to having a full army now. Not many models left at the back tray. So as you can see, only the two dreadnoughts and then those eight main characters. So not an, a lot to do at all. And the front tray has got all the miniatures that are painted. So this really is an army now with that dreadnought and the chariot done. It's looking really great. I'm so happy. And I can't wait to get Logan Grimnar painted and on that chariot to lead them into battle. But he won't be the only leader. There's lots of other characters I'll be able to use. And that's all going to be shown in different videos too. But here's the chariot all painted. Took longer than I thought actually. And one of the dreadnoughts. So I did one of the wolf and dreadnoughts. But it was nice to take my time on these two models today and I just did for the chariot the same method I've done the other vehicles and the wolves just as I did the Fenrisian wolves as well. So no different in the techniques, exactly the same overbrushing. This was a bit fiddly and both of these little bars snapped very early on when I was painting it and getting it ready. So that was a shame but I managed to glue it all back together. I've just got to do a little bit more painting on that bar to disguise it but otherwise it's all finished. All the detailing's done. It's just got a little bit of a dry brush to give that snow effect. I love the little control panel in it. It's so cool and a great looking model overall. I think the wolves are such great poses and look really cool pulling it along. With the base ready made, it wasn't that easy to put it on the base. So what I did is I just traced around that base and then I put all the different model parts on it and lined it up on a piece of paper. And then I just drew around each of the rocks that would secure them to the base and then that way I transferred that template to the ready-made base and then I'd be able to stick them on and have everything in position because what I didn't want to do is start cutting away at the base and then get it wrong and it just make it look a right mess so I cut this uh, little template out and kept all those little shapes attached to each other and then I could put that on the base and that gave me a great template to use and so you can see here, I could even decide exactly where I wanted them. I'd see exactly where they were going to go. And the idea with this base is that they're jumping over like a frozen stream or river or something like that. So it worked out just right, actually, that I could put the three different pieces of this unit like that. So it worked out that the two wolves were actually jumping across it just as I planned. So, yeah, really happy. And actually, I didn't even measure it. So I was really lucky it worked out like that. So a bit of serendipity there. Then what I did on the front wolf is just scrape away the shape of the, that little footprint, that rock that it's on, and got it right back down to the plastic. And then I used plastic glue to fix that one on, and that's got a nice secure fix now. And then for the other two, I used super glue and glued those on. Cut away a little bit again, and then super glued them down. But having that first one really secure at first helped me to put the others in the right place. It wasn't a perfect fit though, so there were some little gaps. I just used some Valhalla Blizzard just to cover that up and put a bit more snow on the rocks as well. But I really like this as a piece goes. It's a really fun unit. It's a bit wacky and I think it's great for the Space Wolves. And then the Dreadnought got that painted too. Again, took my time, just had fun doing it. And um, this was a good one to practice before I go on to um, Murder Fang and Bjorn the Fell Handed. So I love the shield on this one. It's a really cool shield and I use the same technique I've used on all the different storm shields to give that icy effect. And so, yeah, just nice and simple. Again, just looking for a good tabletop ready standard and that axe as well was great fun to work with. So yeah, really happy with this model. This was one that came in the Stark Collected Space Marine set and I used all the spare bits from the two venerable Dreadnought Space Wolf sets I had to make this third one. So it worked out really nicely. So tomorrow I'm going to work on these two, get Murder Fang and Bjorn ready, and then also want to fix the leg that broke off of the Cyber Wolf. So that was a real shame that that snapped. So I'm going to get a little paper clip or something like that, drill a hole in, glue that in place, and then that should be a nice repair. And then that model will be finished as well. So that's the goal tomorrow. Get those three all done. Then I can move into the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. I can work on these eight main characters. So I might get them done in one day or I might just spread it out and 
just have a little bit of a chill weekend and then I still have six days left to get on with the rest of the challenge. So yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. Nice weekend, getting all the main characters done. So by the time you join me again by Sunday night, all the miniatures should be painted. I also stayed up to do this Warhammer preview summary. So if you want to check out that video and see all the new models that were shown at the Warhammer online preview, then that video is up already as well. So yeah, check that out if you'd like to see those. I think there's some great ones potentially for Warcry through the Warhammer Age of Sigmar battle box. But I'm going to do a breakdown of that just to make sure the units are good. But on first glance, it looks pretty good. Also some great news for Necromunda too. Looks like it's going to be an interesting year ahead. Just a quick video today, just to keep you up to date with exactly what's going on. But tomorrow I'm going to focus on those dreadnoughts, get them painted, and then we can take a look at the codex supplement and we can go through the different options for them. Because I think they're really fun and having a dreadnought as a character is a real interesting way to play. So yeah, can't wait to do that. So tomorrow it's going to be all about those dreadnoughts. But for now, thanks again for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop skirmish games i'd like to say a huge thank you to my patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible and if you're interested in joining the community it'd be awesome to see you there and i'll put a link for that in the description down below